I want to make an Oni or a Hanya mask. They're Japanese masks that are associated with evil, but actually have a more complex meaning. I'll leave the research up to you. I'm going to start off with the template for the grabber mask from the movie Black Phone. The design is from my YouTube buddy Thomas Hanna. This video is going to focus on the alterations I made to this original template to get my mask. So to get templates and step-by-step uh, -step instructions for this mask, I suggest you go to his uh, channel, Much Props. I'll leave a link to his channel in the description. First order of business is to cut out the template. It's comprised of some 6mm EVA foam and a small amount of 8mm. I'll be using contact cement to make the bond. Once again, to get the templates and more detailed instructions, go to Much Props. The link is in the description. After cutting out all the pieces of the templates, I laid them out in the position that they would be placed in before I start assembling each side. I decided to do both sides at the same time since they are mirror images. That also made it much easier to keep the same symmetry. Then I connected the lower two quarters, which consisted of the jaw and mouth. Then I connected the top quarter sections, consisting of the forehead, brow, and eyes. Lastly, connecting the two halves together. Following the original template, I did put in the smile with the teeth, but that was going to be altered later to make my original design modifications. I spent a lot of time trying to make the teeth look more realistic, but uh, it was unnecessary since they're going to be covered up anyway. My last step was to cut out and assemble the horns. I used my Dremel tool with a sanding barrel to smooth out the edges. Then marked out the positions of the horns on the forehead and connected them with contact cement. Then using the Dremel tool to make initial sanding of all the seams. Including rounding off the lips as well as sections of the eyes and nose. I then gave it a generous coating of gray plastic. Dip. I attempted to seal some of the seams with some leftover liquid latex, but that didn't work out as well as I expected. Although it did help a little bit, I had to come back and use cork to fill in some of the deeper seams. After going over the seams the second time with a generous layer of cork, I utilize a wet paper napkin to smooth it down. Being careful not to use too much pressure to wipe away the cork. I decided on a red, black, and yellow paint scheme. Using spray paint for the base of the mask and latex for all the detail work.
I utilized some strips of 2mm EVA foam to add a tribal detail to the forehead. Then utilize a piece of a uh, foam dowel to create sort of a snake that'll be uh, wrapping through his nostrils and out of his eyes. I decided to use some picture wire to wrap around the foam dowel in a specific pattern before painting so I can get sort of a detailed uh, paint scheme to the snake. At the same time, I was experimenting with some 2mm EVA foam to see ex exactly how I was going to make the pointed teeth. After coming up with a design that I thought was satisfactory for the teeth, I decided to go ahead and start making it. I rolled up little triangular pieces into a bugle shape and utilized crazy glue to connect them together. After being unsuccessful with the crazy glue, I went back to the contact cement. I scratched out the pieces by hand to get the curvature inside the teeth. Then cut out a slight angle on them to get the inflection. I taped off the face so I can take the easier route of using spray paint to turn the teeth back to white. After removing the tape, I did any necessary touch-up painting, as well as addressing some of the fine detail. I removed the picture wire from the painted uh, snake, and then made some extra color changes in that as well. Then I carefully snaked it through the nostrils and out of one of the eyes. I cut out ovals from 6mm EVA forms to make the eye structure. Utilizing my thumbs to push out the curvature for the eyeballs. I cut out a small circle in the right eyeball to accommodate the snake. Then I secured both of the eyeballs from the back of the mask with contact cement, making sure to keep the curvature of the eyes. Utilizing a utility knife, I cut out some more detail for the head of the snake. Then added some detail coloring inside the mouth. With just a little more detail added with the acrylic paint, I was ready to finish this project off. After adding some blood drippings to the teeth, I utilized my special mud mixer to dirty them up a little bit. As a last minute addition, I decided to make some nice uh, demon ears.
about cutting the inner edge to make them stick out a little more. Adding layers to make it a little more dimensional. After I figured they were positioned properly, I painted them and added a little detail. Just a few more touch-ups and this project is a wrap. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and comment, and press the bell notification for future videos.